With America still reeling from the biggest political upset in its history, hundreds of thousands of people have taken to the streets marching in protest. Uprock sent me out to one to see what are they protesting and what do they hope to achieve? We're protesting racism, misogyny, xenophobia, transphobia, homophobia, and we're here to be together and to promote love. What do you hope for, for these protests around the country to, to accomplish? I just hope that they raise awareness that People are watching him now that he's president. There's nothing we can do, and hopefully he does a good job and makes positive change. But for me, the purpose of being out here is showing him that he has people to be accountable to. I think it's a clear message to tell people that it's not about just losing a political race. It's, it's more about the potential loss that this country faces. You know, a lot of rights are going to be in jeopardy, I think. Uh, you know, the fact that he has the power now to appoint Supreme Court justices. This is scary. We can have a 6-3 a uh, Supreme Court. And this to me is one of the scariest notions because you're, you're talking about overturning things. Potentially, I hope that's not the case. Maybe I'm calling me paranoid, but maybe overturning things like Roe v. Wade and even this latest with you know gay marriage and stuff. I think that in this country, we have to move forward and not backward. From having friends of friends being jumped in several cities just for being people that are considered immigrants and people telling them to go back to their countries, it's fearful. I never know if I'm going to be attacked for being gay, for being black, for being a, a young black woman in America. So it's a fear that everyday life might be altered just because one person was elected into office and kind of enables certain practices and certain tactics. So if you look behind me there, you'll see the sea of people. And uh, they're here to make sure that the country knows that you know people are going to be very vocal and be very scrutinizing of Donald Trump as president. You know, at the end of the day, everyone agrees that the goal here is to peacefully show that they care about the election results and they're not happy. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.